Hello, my name is Charlie Swift, and I'm the director of CLCMA. I never thought I'd do national security law. It was only when MLFA came to me back in 2014 and provided this extraordinary opportunity to represent the Muslim community uh, that I gave real serious thought to this. MLFA wanted to do something that I wasn't sure could be done. They were committed to high quality legal representation, but they wanted to represent 10 times the number of clients they were representing. And they asked me to start a center that would be as good as everything they'd hired before, better even. With MLFA's help, we recruited and now have 10 dedicated attorneys working on immigration, civil, and criminal cases. We expanded the number of cases. MLFA was doing three to five cases a year. This year, we have 69 active cases. In the last month, we've received more intakes than in any other time in our history. Change in administration hasn't made a change in all the policies yet. But with your help, we're committed to make a difference. A couple years ago, I got targeted. I came to the country as a green card holder to seek a better life, and they wanted to hire me as an informant. So I declined, but I was faced with a retribution, which is a denial of my citizenship. This is happening in America. And not only that, they sent me to jail for 30 months for traffic tickets. If you got targeted by a federal agency, there is no way you could fight on your own. You would be crushed. I sought help from CLCMA. And honestly, as a person of color, as an immigrant, as a targeted Muslim, as a vulnerable immigrant in this country, I guess the question would be who else than CLCMA could have fought for me as strongly, as seriously, as wholeheartedly with such a commitment and such an unflagging will to see justice being served. Being a, a client or a beneficiary of CLCMA feels like family to me. I know I can rely on them to stand for me, to fight for me, just like they did for so many other vulnerable Muslims in America. Their mission is known within the Muslim community, and that's why I chose them to fight for me and stand for me in my fight for my constitutional right. An, an attack on, on one of us is an attack on all of us, and we wouldn't be able to send such a powerful word, such a powerful message without the help, without the great work that CLCMA is doing. Hi there. I'm Christina Jump, and I am the Civil Litigation Department Head for the Constitutional Law Center for Muslims in America. Uh, we have currently 34 active litigation cases. We believe that each of our clients is being denied some sort of a constitutional right, and we want to work to defend them in that, to represent them, and to make sure that they get that constitutional right. We want to make sure that they receive equal treatment under the law, no matter what their country of origin may be, no matter what their profession may be, no matter what their gender may be, and no matter what their age may be. We look at each of our clients independently, and we evaluate whether the legal aspect of their claim is something that fits within our stated mission as a nonprofit and whether we think we can help. Unfortunately, due to a lot of the generous donations that have come in and our operating grant, which is courtesy of the Muslim Legal Fund of America, we have been able to help many clients. And we hope that moving forward, we can have even greater results and continue to build upon the headway that we have made so far here at the Constitutional Law Center for Muslims in America. And so this Ramadan season, I hope that you will support us and continue to support uh, because the next person may be your mother, your sister, your wife. We don't know where they'll strike next, but I want your help, want to be there. Thank you. Thank you.